Good morning. It's Monday, July 24th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When the Sheriff Arrives, and our scripture is 2 Samuel chapter 12. So the Lord sent Nathan the prophet to tell David this story. There were two men in a certain town. One was rich and one was poor. The rich man owned a great many sheep and cattle. The poor man owned nothing but one little lamb he had bought. He raised that little lamb and it grew up with his children. It ate from the man's own plate and drank from his cup. He cuddled it in his arms like a baby daughter. One day, a guest arrived at the home of the rich man, but instead of killing an animal from his own flock or herd, he took the poor man's lamb and killed it and prepared it for his guest. David was furious. As surely as the Lord lives, he vowed, any man who would do such a thing deserves to die. He must repay four lambs to the poor man for the one he stole and for having no pity. Then Nathan said to David, You... Are that man. King David had messed up, sinned big time. He used the position and authority God had given him to steal another man's wife. When she became pregnant with David's child, the king engineered the husband's death to cover his sin. He then married the widow, Bathsheba. God sent his fearless prophet Nathan to uncover what David thought was behind him. Like a sheriff setting up the bad guy, Nathan told a story about a rich man taking a poor man's sheep. David arrogantly judged the heartless rich man. Nathan's response, you are that man. It was a Monday afternoon at school. The previous Saturday, our football team had fought hard and won the game. Monday afternoon's practices were for viewing the game films. Coach Weitz started with a lecture about playing the game hard, but fair, like mature gentlemen. He said we didn't do that on at least one play last Saturday. He then snapped on the projector to show the end of that play where our team had tackled the runner with the ball. It was a real pile-up. A split second later, another of our team's players jumped in the pile. A late hit. It was wrong by any standards. It was unnecessary roughness. But for some unknown reason, our guy then threw a punch at the middle of the pile and the referee's penalty flags flew like a red storm, and they all landed on number 80, me. What I thought was going to be a celebration of our team's victory turned out to be the hot spotlight on Russell's sin. The sheriff had arrived, and the bad guy exposed like a sore thumb. Coach White's must have been descended from the prophetic line of Nathan. That was 59 years ago, and to this day, I still don't have a reason why I did such a thing. It's the signature memory in my can't-believe-I-did-that moments. But I do have a conclusion about that moment. It proves that I was just as guilty as King David. I hit that guy when he was already down, and therein lies the rub. We are all capable of any sin, and we all participate we are all guilty. Apostle Paul said that clearly. Romans chapter 3. As the scriptures say, no one is righteous, not even one. No one is truly wise. No one is seeking God. All have turned away. All have become useless. No one does good. Not a single one. For you today, I've shown you a darker side of me without hiding or softening any part of it. I had no excuse for what I did, and it squares with what God says about all of us. That is confession, and that's the only way to be forgiven, as we trust what God has said about it, again through Apostle Paul, Romans chapter 7. I've discovered, Paul says, this principle of life, that when I want to do what is right, I inevitably do what is wrong. I love God's law with all my heart, but there's another power within me that's at war with my mind. This power makes me a slave to the sin that is still within me. Oh, what a miserable man I am. Who will free me from this life that's dominated by sin and death? 
Thank God the answer is in Jesus Christ our Lord. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.